quatro festas de espaçosas. Quatro de acréscimo, né, Leva? Quatro no menor de acréscimo, pelo menos acrescenta, agora mesmo vamos a 49. Vamos a 49, ele está tirando aquele spray ali, que foi criado no Brasil, né? Ele inventou aquele spray, que é colocado na grama para marcar a manutenção da barreira, na bola. É brasileiro. I think staging of the resilience in our region, including Romania, one of the questions I get asked uh, quite regularly about SDRs, and especially the SDR Play RSPDX, um, the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery boat that I own here, uh, is how they perform compared to either IN radios or good portables. And what I can say is that, I, and I say it very often, the sensitivity has reached a threshold that whether you have a very expensive radio, or a $100 good performer, you pretty much get the same signals. Um, there's no more, this is more sensitive than that. It is much more in the bells and whistles and the extras that you get. You know, uh, we talk about, uh, for example, on my Yesu, the digital noise reduction feature. And, you know, the way that they handle the signal, um, that is much more where it is now. So if you tell me, you know, between my... $2,000 Yesu, my um, $200 RSPDX, and my um, $80, $90 Texan PL330. Is there one that is going to get a signal the other one's not going to get? Uh, they're all going to get pretty much the same signals on same conditions. Where it's going to be different is in the way that, for example, the signal is processed in single sideband. The Texan PL330 will be harsher than what I'll get on the RSPDX because you can play with the AJC, the automatic gain control. And same for the uh, Yesu. You know, I can just slow down the AJC or, or just, you know, put it at a threshold that I want. These are what the more expensive radios give you. It's not giving you more signals. It's just giving you ways of actually enjoying those signals, maybe a little better. Uh, maybe giving you that little edge to have um, a more comfortable listening if you want. Uh, but that's the way it is. And uh, that's the way it is. You know, what? Some uh, I see people debating about the ICOM ICR 7300. Uh, I see 7300 and the Yesu FTDX-10. And, you know, it's a fight about, well, mine's better, mine's better. They're both good. And the difference between the 7300 from ICOM and the Yesu FTDX-10 is probably so minimal that um, it doesn't matter. You know, stop going crazy and, and stop saying that one is better than the other. It's not. They're both good. That's all. And there's a lot of portables that's like that. You know, um, whatever you have and you're happy with is what's important. And um, that is the case. And you know what? Just um, know that whatever you get more expensive just has more features. And remember, and SDR is not that cheap. You might say, oh, well, you know, it's just a, uh, if you look at the RSP uh, 1A, you know, it's, oh, it's just a $120 radio. No, actually, it's a $120 radio plus the price of whatever computer you're running it on. Uh, it makes it more expensive, suddenly. And um, so, and remember that the software and the computer is doing a lot of the processing in there, uh, not the radio itself. The front end is important, but uh, there's a lot more to it. So, you know, um, don't go crazy over that little edge or that little something. When I see people going crazy and taking weeks or months before they decide between one radio or the other, you're wasting your time. Whatever you're going to get is good if you have chosen the good radios. Stop, you know, asking 100 questions about, well, you know, that guy says that. No, there's a lot of what that guy says and that what that guy will actually want to to, to express to you that is very, very personal, much more than an actual test and an actual real-world listening experience. Um, there's a lot of that going on also. So don't forget, if you have chosen a good radio or a series of good radio, stop asking questions. Just buy one. You're going to be happy. And, uh, yeah, they all perform very well. And they all will receive the same signal. Like I said... That $70, $80 PL330, you know what? It's going to bring that radio, that, that my Yesu, 
um, uh, whatever signal I'm listening to it is going to be there too. Like I said, it's just about the extras that make a difference. Um, there is no real gap in sensitivity anymore in most good portables versus SDRs versus high-end receivers. It's all the extras that make the difference. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.